This video is brought to you by Let's Synthesize Academy, the number one place for practice-oriented courses for serious music producers. Yo, Der Larsson here. Welcome to the newest Synthesize Sunday episode. And in this video, I'm going to show you a very crazy tool that can create impossible things, something like that. Or you can turn your EQ8 into something like that. Or you can do something like this. Isn't it crazy? So let's jump into it. Okay, so the tool behind this magical stuff is Isotonic Studios Signal. So this is a crazy good plugin. It's a crazy good Max for Life plugin. And what it offers is something like an operating system. So basically, you don't need to understand how a machine works, how Max for Life works, because it offers you tools, it offers you audio effects, MIDI effects, signal generators, mathematical stuff to build up your own effects, your own instruments, and your own generators. This is a very, very exciting thing. In the first example, where we did this, what it does here is it says EQA's first dot, the frequency and the gain. Here, as you can see, frequency and gain, and copies it to other EQ dots in the same EQ8 and delays it. And these are these remotes that receives the delayed version of the first EQ dot. And this is the trick here. As you can see, it has 100 milliseconds delay. And this effect can be very handy, for example, build ups because you can create huge tension with this computer like effect. So, this is very exciting, and you can build basically unlimited stuff in Signal. Okay, but before we go forward, let me encourage you to subscribe for weekly awesome videos. Now the next thing is the band pass built up from EQ8. And as you can see, I can set the width and I can move it back and forth in the spectrum. So if I click on open, you can see that we have two diodes, two knobs basically, and it receives the values from the frequency macro and the width macro. And it does some mathematical stuff with like, like add and subtract and stuff and sends it to EQ8 to the first frequency dot and the 8th frequency dot here you can see this stuff so honestly i'm still very down with this stuff but i'm sure i can learn it very fast if i invest some time into it and you can do that also all you need is some research and reading the manual and some mathematical knowledge if you want to learn more cool ableton tricks and tips just click here so let's go to the next uh, actually i haven't presented that because this is a simple wave shaper if you click on open you can see a function here and this works exactly like a wave shipper. So if I add operator, with one single plugin inside Signal, we were able to build up a very nice wave shaper. And in the last example, I wish we had this stuff, this tool, back in, for example, 2011, when everybody was after the Skrillex stuff. So we can offset the vowels in the spectrum and we can fade between two preset vowels, basically. As you can see, I can set shape B to anything or shape A. And I can switch between with the fade knob. And the craziest thing is that you can push it back and forth in the spectrum. And obviously, this is generated by signal again, but this time it is way more complicated that I would be able to, <laughs> to understand it in the first round. So anyway, just believe me that, that this is a tool that does all the magic behind this. Okay, now the next thing that is very, very cool here is the latency compensation. So why I really love this plugin, it offers a very nice latency compensation. So if you put the pre and the post latency compensation plugin or tool, everything you do in this rack will be sample accurate and this is again a huge thing if you work with audio a lot for example which is very cool when you purchase this tool you can go to cc signal in the packs and there are like tons of presets here you can play with that so i don't know like you have a wave shipper here vocal formats i already presented you can create a vibrato and as you can see it uses an elifo 
uh, with the dial so you can set the amount of the vibrato and the speed of the vibrato and you can analyze it what it does it's very simple by the way it uses up an LFO which is by the way very very cool because it is like a, it's almost similar to serum LFO you can highly customize it and it is very very cool there are some sidechain plugins or here as you can see it already set it up and we can tweak it you know you can just drop it onto an audio track for example on the first one let me try to do that and that's it very very nice stuff and the best thing in this is you can highly customize it and you can build your own stuff from scratch you can build anything with that without understanding max for life or programming or anything like that also you have templates so if you want to build up your own stuff from scratch we have for example a drunk lfo go into signal and there are two lfos working together on the same signal which can be very very cool so you can map it to anything on this track so which is again a very very handy tool you can create crazy modulations inside ableton with that i know most of this stuff can be done in any other max for life stuff for example downloading free max for life templates but what it offers here is the flexibility and the chance to build up your own stuff and expand the already built up presets or templates and you know just go crazy with anything like that so i think right now it is a highly underrated stuff here but I highly recommend you at the same time because it, it, it's just crazy. So my final thought in this, I need to invest some time into it, learn it properly, and it can be a magical tool for anything basically. So as you can see, Signal is a crazy tool and basically you can do whatever you want inside of Ableton. And actually it is not that complicated, you can learn it pretty quickly. And honestly, it is not very expensive. So I highly recommend you to check this tool because it can do really impossible things and it can enhance your workflow drastically. So I was Nell Larson. see you next time. Peace.